More than 600 miles of bike lanes span across the city. Accessibility for cyclists and the nearly year-round sunshine is what caught Bicycling Magazine's attention. The publication voted Tucson as the 12th most bike-friendly city in America last year. Aside from bike lanes, bike boulevards are on the rise. Two new bicycle boulevards will be added to Tucson's geography, one on Treat Avenue and the other on Copper Street. Bike boulevards use local residential streets and try to make it much nicer for bicyclists and bicyclists of all ages and abilities. The two projects will cost about $1 million. A part of the funding comes from a tax by the Regional Transportation Authority. And the Hafson sales tax um, was uh, voted in by the voters in 2006. It goes for 20 years. Um, it was projected to um, collect $2.1 billion over that time. Getting Treat and Copper up and running as bike boulevards will take about 18 months. Chineka says that implementing the two streets as bike-friendly routes should be completed by the end of 2014. The boulevard's main purpose is to serve as a safer alternative from bike lanes on busy streets. You can really stay away from the traffic and the smell of gasoline fumes and get where you're going and not feel the danger of possibly getting hit by a car. Being on a bicycle with cars whizzing past you at 40 miles per hour seems unsettling, but riding through a quiet neighborhood like this one is a much safer option for cyclists. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Justin Matthews.